This is a solid mechanics practice exam 2018 and this is question two and it's about an I-beam that looks like this. Um, first of all we're asked to state the position of the neutral axis and calculate the second moment of area of the beam. So uh, let's just start that off. If we start by just drawing out a picture of a generic I-beam don't even really mind if I've got my um, size right the way I've drawn it. I can just mark up the dimensions. This is 300 uh, all the way across the I-beam. This here is 800. Um, and then that one is 30. That one is 30. And that one is 15 across. Those are the dimensions we're working with and um, just I guess I should just note everything's symmetric about the central axis that red line that I've drawn is in the center. Um, so that's the neutral axis. If you have something like a T section or a U section that's not symmetric, then at that stage you need to um, calculate the neutral axis. And to do that, you need a formula which isn't on the data sheet. Um, maybe let's just make a note of that. Um, y for the neutral axis equals y1 a1 plus y2 a2 all over a1 plus a2 if you've got two rectangles or shapes that you're dealing with you can calculate their neutral axes relative to some zero point and you can calculate their areas and then you can calculate the overall neutral axis. Obviously if you had a third rectangle you'd need a third term in your neutral axis calculation and so on. We're not going to use that for the time being, that bit in blue though, because we know where our neutral axis is. So instead we have to just think, um, I'm going to make a note that an I-beam like this is the same as or is equivalent to a nice big rectangle like that minus two small rectangles like so. If I take these smaller rectangles out of this shape then I'll be left with this shape. I guess I can just clarify that by putting a red box around where I'm suggesting that red rectangle represents and adding in some smaller blue boxes here where I'm suggesting those blue rectangles represent. And that means that the uh, second moment of area for the I-beam equals that second moment of area minus two times the smaller second moment of area. Um, and this is relatively easy as a calculation. Um, we know just again, let's just make sure we're clear on where everything is in the data sheet. These um, moments of area are, this is a fundamentally a bending question, so we go to the simple bending section. Whenever you've got an I-beam or a T-beam or anything like that, you're probably going to be asked something about bending, so it's worth just thinking about these um, pieces of information under simple bending. Uh, we've got I equals B H cubed over 12 for a rectangular section. Um, and in this case, remember that 
H is the dimension that crosses the neutral axis, um, B is the dimension that is parallel to the neutral axis. So our H is 800 millimeters and our B is 300 millimeters. We'll come back and put that information all in. Um, But uh, now we're well underway to finding the second moment of area for this section. So I said um, our initial breadth is 300 millimeters. Uh, call that 0.3 meters, and our height for the large rectangle is 0.8 meters. Um, I know I say this every time, but it's worth doing these calculations. I think in meters from the start, because then you get an answer out in meters to the power of four. And it just saves you the confusion of converting millimeters to the four later on or something like that. So two times. Now the dimensions of these rectangles, we just have to think a bit. Um, they are half, the, the breadth is half of 300 minus the breadth of that web. Um, I guess one way to look at it is, let's just make a side note here, um, 2b2 plus uh, 15 equals 300, and I think if you uh, rearrange that, 300 minus 15 divided by 2, uh, you get 14, b2 is 142.5 millimeters. And that's basically the breadth from here to here. So we've got 142.5, 15, another 142.5, and all of that adds up to that 300. Uh, similarly, you've got um, H1 there plus 30, sorry, H2 plus 30 plus 30 equals 800, so H2 equals 740 millimeters. And that's what we need in this calculation that we're doing. Uh, we need the size of these rectangles and now we've calculated them. So this is uh, 0.1425 converting from millimeters to meters multiplied by 0.74 cubed. Mm -hmm.